In tonight's State of the Nation report, U.S. military members are officially getting a pay raise. President Trump signed the National Defense Authorization Act, within, which includes many changes for the Defense Department. Fox 16's Mark Meredith is in Washington and explains. President Trump says thanks to a new funding bill, America's military now has the money it deserves. After years of devastating cuts, we're now rebuilding our military like we never have before. The president signed the National Defense Authorization Act during a visit to New York's Fort Drum. Upon arriving, the president saw firsthand America's military arsenal. And it's an arsenal that's about to get even bigger. The $716 billion package means more money for training and new equipment like 77 new F-35 fighter jets. This authorization will give America's warfighters the firepower they need to win any conflict quickly and decisively. Service members are also getting a pay raise. The Pentagon says troops will receive a 2.6% increase in their salary. That's the highest in nearly a decade. But Scott Anderson with the Brookings Institute says the White you know, House can't take all the credit. And, you know, this bill is a bipartisan package. So certainly the administration may have supported the pay raise, but certainly Democrats in Congress did as well. Congress named the bill in honor of Arizona Senator John McCain. McCain, who's battling cancer, was not at Monday's signing ceremony, and the president did not mention McCain by name. In Washington, I'm I'm Mark Meredith. And here is the Fox 16 bottom line. The $716 billion budget includes $616.9 billion for the Pentagon's base budget. Another $69 billion goes to oversee contingency operations funding. And nearly $22 billion goes to nuclear weapons programs under the Energy Department. Keep in mind, Congress must still pass a spending bill to fund specific priorities with the Defense Department.